Mrs. Ada Thorne, ma'am. I thought you were all called Shelby. Oh, I'm a widow. Well, my husband didn't have the good grace to die. He lingers yet. Your husband's a member of the Guinness family, I believe. They do a lot of good work on behalf of the poor. The poor who are only poor because they spent so much of their income on Guinness. Please. I think the causes of poverty are a little more complex than that. Yes, I believe it is to do with genetics. Huh, beautiful vase. My grandfather stole it from a brothel in Cairo. Egyptian, the 18th dynasty, I think. How do you know so much about Egyptian vases? I collect antiques. A tribe of gypsies settles on a clearing in a factory town. Children, of course, ensue in their hundreds, but one of them becomes a gangster and a politician, the other a collector of antiques. It is quite extraordinary. A result of genetics, I think. My dear, you researched me and I researched you. If this was 1919, you would have come through my front door carrying a revolver and a Molotov cocktail and would happily have blown off my head. Hmm. Isn't it wonderful how time changes everything? Where is the American? He'll be here later. Where's Mosley? He heard Thomas wasn't coming, so he decided to sulk. You know how men are. Where is Thomas? His daughter is sick. Does he not employ a governess? It's a class thing. A genetic thing. He puts his daughter's welfare before business. Even the business of changing the world. I thought today was purely social. Now that it's just you, I suppose it will be. <laughs> <laughs> you should know your brother has altered my life. The men here just bounce up and down in their saddles in a rising trot, never even galloping. Thomas is the man on the horse on the vase. That's why I put it out for you to look at. According to recent interpretations, the Black Rider on 18th Dynasty vases is meant to signify approaching death. So, yes, I suppose it resembles Thomas. Tell me, why is he so emotionally mutilated? Oh, because he's a character in a novel, of course. One of those novels ladies like you like to read, all about wild men. <sighs> well, I don't read novels. I read only pornography and politics. In the absence of the men, shouldn't we ladies be engaging in small talk? Very well. Small talk. You know I like to fuck women as well as men. <laughs> mm, Tommy was right. He says that everything is a circle. A lady in Eaton Square, as coarse and honest as an Aston whore. Just realised I haven't even offered you a drink. 